looking forward to the custom. <laughs> you know, Far Cry Beast is my favorite movie. Anyway, welcome forward. This is Melanated Mystery Month. But and you know why I say that? Because the, I mean, this year, as the, the most year, we talk about black history, they like the jig is up. We can't talk about Martin Luther King and Malcolm and tell these people these are the two choices they got any longer. You know, fuck it. Yeah, I have Martin Luther King Day. Yeah, you know, when I think about me going to school in the 80s, okay, mama has lived, all right, me, a big old man, right? But when I think about that, and it was still, we were still, we didn't have no new um, heroes or his people that were made history. They were way back in the day trying to establish themselves as people. When we know globally, the melanated people been here. Okay, okay. So it's up to us to tell our story. And this is the mystery. This is my story. Because I had an interaction with a great master teacher, Dr. Delbert Blair. Now, I didn't meet him in person. However, you know, I was studying and I've been studying, listening to Dr. Blair. Now, there's three master teachers that I grew up with. Because I feel like I'm from the old school. I don't have that these kind of new people that are coming and telling me I, you know, that's why I said discernment, okay? Because I did, those were the patriarchs. It was Dr. Blair, Dr. Phil Valentine, Bobby Hammond. Dr. Blair has now passed, and we are continuing his work, and the rest of the brothers, we bringing them, too, because they provided foundations. I'm not going to say there's no other people there, but as far as my consciousness, I owe a lot to the master teacher, Dr. Delbert Blair. And I had a conversation with him. So, I'm going to give you a little heads up. Because this really is about my journey, right? You know, Sammy and Carlin Kush. Yeah. So, I, back when I was like in a teenager stages in college and, you know, stuff like that. I used to do a little music, you know. Did little shows, I did little college circuit shows, I did a few shows, I did a little, little Roy Wilkins Park show. I did, I heard, you heard me, like somebody spoke about me on the radio, you know, you know what I'm saying? A little something, something. But, you know, upon graduating college, I had a baby, you know what I'm saying? And then my life, you know, and that person didn't know that I was this person. And then I, I just kind of let it let it die down, you know, because my my uh, my my partner that I was, you know, we was a DJ group. She, you know, she was a DJ, and and I was like a singer, DJ, singer, DJ. But she turned to the church, so you know, it was like, eh. and she really bring me into it, even though you know she really brought me into it. So then I had left it alone, and I never really speak about it after. But anywhere I go, it's like I always meet up a book up on musicians and them trying to get me to do this music. I, I look like a musician. I'm telling you, I'm not joking. Anyway. So, I didn't bother to mention that. That was not on my mind when I spoke to Dr. Blair for a consultation because what I was doing, I was working um, off of Wall Street at a securities firm for a major insurance company. And that shit was driving me crazy. It's just... Don't work with black people in a white company. I I don't even know. It's so deep. It's so many layers. But I would have to tell you that on another separate, you know. Because... Okay. So, that was really affecting me, and that was just like a drudgery. My sister passed away in 2011, and they gave me like such problems at the job, you know, like niggas it's slave, and niggas gonna lie, and that my sister died. Nah, nigga, I don't want to even say that. That's some bullshit, but anyway. So I was going to Dr. Blair talking to him about this. I'm like, oh, this is happening. And ah, 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 and ah, the job. I have to get a thing. I have to do some businesses. And I probably told him a couple of business ideas that I had. And blah, blah, blah. Nothing about music. I wonder if I should do music again. No, I didn't say that. Because, you know, you get into the matrix and you feel like that you can't be you. <laughs> okay. So. I'm talking to him, he's like, well, you know, they're getting a whole lot out of you, more out of you than you're getting out of them, but I don't have to tell you that, you know that. And I'm like, no, that's true. True word, brother. Yeah, <laughs> you know, but 
As far as the business ideas and other things that I want to do, like take the Series 7 and get a different position, a better position, he didn't really give me no feedback. He was just like, okay, well, you know, that's that's what he said. But you know, they're getting a lot of money. But you know, what you going to do about that? Like, basically, I, well, well, I'm asking you, brother. That's what I'm asking you. Big Daddy Double Blair. You know what I'm saying? That's my attitude. Okay. So, you know, we were talking, we were talking, and then he, he just got real quiet. It's real quiet. So I'm like, what's going on? You know, he's an older gentleman. I'm like, did I put him to sleep with my boring ass life in this motherfucker town? You know, he was like, no, no, allow me, allow me to look into the ethers for you. I'm not sure if he said ethers, but he said, allow me to look into things for you. I need to determine if you have a soul. Oh my God. Imagine if Dr. Delbert Blair, who's given us all this good stuff, Tells me I don't have a soul. That I gotta go every day to the work for the rest of my life. And then my children gonna get snatched up because they know I'm at work and they do it all type of bullshit. You know, this stupid crazy. I'm just like, oh man. He comes back like, no, you definitely have a soul. You definitely have a soul. <laughs> what? They can feel it good, feel it great. Because now, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't care about nothing else. Because Dr. Blair said, I have a soul. That means I have to do, do, do. I ain't not separate from myself. It's a serious, a serious thing. So, yeah, so like, okay. So then he, got, he gets quiet again. He's like, I know we've been talking for a while. And you told me your name is Carlene. And, um, you know, and, and he used to tell you, yeah, I know you're working at Wall Street and everything. But I don't know. There's just like, I can't, you know, something, you know. So, did they call you by any other name? This is a bad question for me, Dr. Blair, because I feel some type of sort of some type of way because when I was a baby and I was little till about five when they went to school, they used to call me Punchy. Look a Punchy Nilla, I'm Punchy Punchy, Punchy Poo. And then I make it like it's like I got too big. Like, oh, you can't call her Punchy no more, my mom. Didn't call her Punchy no more, you know what I mean? Like, well, meantime, everybody, I figure, got a different name. Shit, so my aunts, my cousins, they come, people come home from school and calling them something else. I'm like, who is that? I, I'm talking about all my life, I didn't know. And it's like, they got those simple names, like Sharon. And their real name is like, you know, Nadine. Like, it's like, those are two names. Those ain't nicknames. Jamaican Culture 101. So yeah, I did. So when he said that, I was like, well, damn, why is he saying that? Oh, what's supposed to happen, nickname? Because people will call me Carlene or Carl, you know. <sighs> Carl, don't press him, you know. Yeah. And um, so I was like, this is weird that he's asking me that. And, you know, he was like, you know, he's Jamaican too. Because he told me his father is Jamaican. I forgot that was in the con thing. And he asked me, why do I think I spoke to him? something going on with the jamaicans we need to get together so if you're jamaican and you're looking for answers to life or you don't want to do the same thing like come on they talk about oh we're gonna pray about it uh all right okay okay but anyway so then he's asking me if i have another name i'm like no i don't i mean maybe now i'm thinking about damn the music it could be anything when i was in georgia they used to call me bashan you know what i'm saying like is it bashan you know and i said bashan he was like yeah But Sean, I, I tell me, yeah, you know, I used to do a little music. And so, yeah, the latest name that I had was Bashan. Oh, because I see you on the stage with a lot, a lot of people. And, I mean, it looks good. It really looks good. So, I'm like, oh, you know. He's like, what? I tell you what. If you, you know, it's, now's the time to do it. Now's the time. They're ready. They're ready to hear what you have to say. They're ready. And, um, hey, now's the time. You can you can make some money now, you know. And, you know, really, to tell you the truth, that has always been my reservation. Because I done came up and I seen, they been making a lot of money. I mean, they are popular. Pull up. Everything. I've seen that. I've experienced that in my life. Not, 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 not the course. You know what I'm saying? And so that kind of made, and, and along with other things with the industry, 
of who I am. So that kind of made me a little bit more reluctant to, you know, really pursue it back in the days and then the family thing and the blah, blah, blah. So coming back now, you telling me I'm on the stage. I'm like, true. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? True. Anyway. So, wow. So then he says, well, you know, it's it's time to do, you know. So this was in 2012, right? I'm slacking and I'm slipping. I'm not on the big stage yet, but I'm trusting on Dr. Blair's prophecy. But at the end of the day, he told me, he said, at the end of the con that little thing, he said, look, I'll tell you what. I want you to write some songs and write some things. If it's good, you go with that. If it's not, hey, you're going to have to do something else. Well, shit. Thanks. Thanks, Papa. Thanks, Papa Blair. Dude, you don't know how golden that was for me. Because I need that shit. Now, I'm going to tell you that I did write some songs, of course. And I got, like, yo, dub plate requests and everything like that. But the energy is around it. But I'm still on it. But that's my story with the master teacher, Dr. Double Blair. So, please, don't tell me. Don't mix me up. When you see me going for my shit... Just know, I come from a good, I get good counsel, okay? In the meantime, you check out Dr. Blair. You get the history. T stay tuned for next time when I tell you how the one and only Mighty Bounty Killer allowed me to graduate with my bachelor's in the next Melanated Mystery Month episode. You stay well and you go get it.